Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the seventh video of bonus and right issue chapter, we are going to understand the topic bonus shares for compulsory convertible debt instruments. Yeah, you must have heard about this and you know, I have personally explained this topic in the first video itself, but that was just in a brief manner. Right now we have to understand this logically. The main thing is the reasoning behind this. Okay. And we are also going to solve a problem on this. Okay. So first let's just discuss a little bit concept of this and then the example and then we'll move on to the problem. Fine. So let's begin. Let's start this video. Now see here, let's just read this once and then I'll explain you how simple it is. According to SEBI regulation 294, no company can issue bonus shares to its members without extending similar benefit to compulsory convertible debenture holders. Pending such conversion, bonus shares in proportion to such convertible part of FCDs or PCDs should be reserved. The shares so reserved may be issued at the time of conversion of such debentures on the same terms on which the bonus issues were made. Okay, fine. So now, did you understand anything by this? No, sir, we did not understand anything. Okay, don't worry. Let me just explain this once again properly. Okay, so see here, it's very simple. What this regulation 294 is trying to tell you is that if a company is going for a bonus issue and let's just say in their balance sheet, they have compulsory convertible debt instruments, then what the company has to make sure is that understand regulation 294 is saying that you can't just do bonus issue to your existing shareholders and just go along with it. No, you can't do that. If you are, you know, doing bonus issue, then you have to make sure you also give a similar benefit to holders of compulsory convertible debt instruments. Okay, that's what this regulation is trying to tell you. Is it clear? Simple. But now how that will happen? That's what you have to understand. So let's just say, you know, in the middle of 2023, you know, a company has went for a bonus issue, fine. And then they have this uh, convertible debt instruments in their balance sheet, which were issued, let's just say five years back. And in this 2023, let's just say they are maturing. Okay. The maturity date is in this 2023. Let's just say just after three months of the bonus issue, there will be a conversion. Okay. Let's just say, for example, you know, uh, convertible debentures were issued five years back, fully convertible debentures, 10,000, let's just say. So they are going to be converted right now, uh, 10,000 debentures into 10,000 equity shares. Is that clear? Yes. So what compulsory convertible debt instruments holders are going to get? They are going to get 10,000 equity shares. This is normal without the bonus issue. But now bonus is coming in between. Now because of bonus, what will happen? Because of bonus, now company has to make sure that bonus shares are also given to these uh, holders of compulsory convertible debt instruments. But how? How it will be given? It's easy. You can easily calculate. 10,000 debentures were there. They are going to get 10,000 shares on maturity. Yeah, on the date of conversion. So you have to take that. How many shares normally they are going to get? They are going to get 10,000 shares. So 10,000 shares into, okay, 10,000 shares into ratio of bonus. Let's just say the ratio of bonus is uh, two, two for every five shares. Okay, so two divided by five, that's equal to 4,000. So 4,000 shares will be given to the holders of compulsory convertible debt instruments. But this will be happening at the date of conversion. But the bonus issue is happening today. So today what we have to do, that you have to understand. That's what it, you know has been said in the second sentence over here. Pending such conversion, yeah, three months are left now for conversion. Pending such conversion, bonus shares in proportion to such convertible part of FCDs or PCDs should be reserved. So 4,000, let's just say the face value is 10 into 10. So that's equal to 40,000. So this 40,000 should be reserved, okay? From the free reserves or the reserves, this money has to be transferred to a special reserve called as, you know, bonus to FCDs account. Okay, bonus to FCDs account. You have to make a provision. You have to make a reserve for you know uh, the holders of compulsory convertible debt instruments. And then at the time of conversion, at the date of conversion, what you have to do, you have to use this reserve, yeah, bonus to FCDs, and give shares to to holders of FCDs. Is that clear? The shares so reserved may be issued at the time of conversion of such debentures 
on the same terms on which the bonus issues were made yeah let's just say the existing shareholders you know the existing share uh, shares were let's just say 5 lakh shares okay 5 lakh shares were there and you know they got a bonus of how much the same bonus only 2 by 5 only right so that was 2 lakh shares so similar benefit has been given to holders of compulsory convertible debt instrument also isn't it normally they were going to get how much 10,000 shares so on that 10,000 shares only we calculated now for that convertible part only we calculated with the bonus isn't it the bonus ratio the same proportion so that's equal to 4,000 shares clear simple so now let's understand the reasoning behind this you understood what we have to do what will happen and everything let's just understand the reasoning why why do we have to make a reserve for uh, you know for the holders of compulsory convertible debt instrument what's the logic behind this let's go to this example so now see here we have a new example to understand the logical understanding behind why do we have to make a reserve and extend a similar benefit to compulsory convertible debt instruments okay holders of these debt instruments so let's see see the example over here let's just say there is a company called as abc limited they have you know one lakh total equity shares in their company and they also have convertible debentures compulsory convertible debentures 20000 okay number of debentures and at the time of issue only 7 years back it was you know uh, decided that these are going to be converted into 20000 equity shares at the date of conversion okay at the date of issue only this is decided is it clear okay now let's just say you know uh, date of conversion has come okay so now what will happen the total shares will be 1 lakh 20000 here i'm not talking anything about the bonus issue simple example i'm giving you so at the date of conversion what will happen the total shares will become 1 lakh 20000 how 1 lakh 20000 it's really simple these 20000 debentures have been converted into shares yeah 1 lakh existing shares at the date of conversion 1 lakh plus 20 1 lakh 20 is it clear simple so now the holding of x debenture holders is how much 20,000 shares. So if you calculate that in terms of percentage, 20,000 yeah, holding of this debenture holders divide by the total shares of the company, 1 lakh 20, that's equal to 16.6667 percentage. Okay, that's the holding of the uh, ex-debenture holders. Now let's just say bonus issue is happening in the middle of the year. Okay. Now, if there is a bonus issue in between the year, then see what happens is, understand, it's really simple. The same example, just that there is a bonus issue of 1 is to 10, 1 for every 10 shares. So see, existing equity shares are same, 1 lakh convertible debentures, 20,000 uh, debentures, which are to be converted into, you know, 20,000 equity shares. They are the same terms and everything. So bonus issue happened. Now, because of bonus issue, what will happen? this existing shares will increase of course isn't it see here 1 lakh shares were there into 1 by 10 yeah 1 for every 10 so that's equal to 10,000 shares yeah so this will increase yeah total shares will become how much it's not just 1 lakh 10 it's 1 lakh 30 how 1 lakh plus 10,000 bonus shares plus these shares yeah the converted ones after the conversion okay so total 1 lakh 30,000 is it clear 1 lakh shares were existing plus bonus on these existing shares plus the shares which have been converted from debentures plus 20 okay so that's equal to 1 lakh 30 thousand shares in total isn't it yes so now holding of x debenture holders if if bonus uh, thing is not given to them yeah if this reserve and all is not done for for the x debenture holders then what will happen we are seeing over here okay so see over here their holding is how much just 20,000 yeah previously also if there was no bonus they had 20,000 shares now there is a bonus but bonus is not given to uh, ex debenture holders if that's the case then they will still have 20,000 shares only isn't it same thing only but the total shares have increased but total shares have increased so because of this what will happen see their percentage their holding percentage just calculate that 20,000 their holding of shares divide by the total shares 1 lakh 30 that's equal to 
if you see into 100 that's equal to 15.3846 something yeah so the holding percentage has come down from 16.67 percentage yeah understand properly seven years back convertible debenture holder they were thinking that you know the holders of convertible debenture holders were thinking that okay we are going to get 20,000 equity shares yeah we are going to get 20,000 equity shares and they just calculated this uh, percentage ratio then that came 16.67 okay we'll have a control of 16.67 the total debenture holders okay but now in 2023 the company went for bonus issue because of bonus issue 10,000 extra shares came okay and they didn't get this benefit let's just say normally this doesn't happen but I'm just giving you a fake scenario a virtual fake scenario to you know understand the logic fine so shares increased to 130 1 lakh 30 so because of this the control percentage of uh, the ex dementia holders in total has come down yeah they were expecting 16.67 but now their holding percentage is 15.38 percentage you see this is the thing yeah this is unfair isn't it that's why that's why the sebi regulation 294 comes in between and it says that the company please you people have to extend a similar benefit to compulsory convertible debenture holders that is we have to make a reservation and give shares to them at the time of conversion the bonus shares okay so th therefore reservation is needed for convertible portion of fcds and pcds yeah fcds or pcds and then see how how the calculation will happen it's really simple the first thing that you have to do is first you need to know exactly how many shares are going to be given to the debenture holders okay so you know 20,000 shares will be given isn't it so you have to use that 20,000 shares into bonus ratio is that clear normally they are going to get 20,000 shares yeah because of conversion that's fine okay that's their existing shares now 20,000 shares but the bonus shares how the bonus will be given you have to take those shares only 20,000 shares yeah normally which they got in conversion you have to take that into bonus ratio that's equal to 2,000 shares extra they are going to get so if they are going to get these extra shares 2000 shares then see their control percentage will remain the same see here the total shares are 130 now so you see sorry it's not 130 if 2000 shares are given it's 132 okay so 22000 shares okay divide by 132 so that's equal to you see into 100 16.6667 you see that's why the regulation 294 says we have to give bonus shares also to the uh, convertible debt instruments holders is that clear so this is the concept now let's just move on to a question and see this practically okay let's just go to a question now see here we have a question of bonus issue and the main topic over here is partly convertible debentures that's going to be the main uh, you know highlight of this question and this is our seventh problem so let's begin let's go through the question once and then we'll solve this okay so see here following items appear in the trial balance of tulsian limited listed as on 31st march 2023 okay 40000 equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 7.5 paid up 3 lakh okay so we here we have partly paid up shares so we have to make them fully paid up if you're going to issue fully paid up bonus shares fine okay and then 60,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 6 lakh. Okay, we have two different classes of equity shares. And then see, capital redemption reserve 1 lakh 30. Fine. This we can utilize for bonus issue. You all know, right? To issue fully paid up bonus shares. And then plant revaluation reserve. This we can't. Okay, this is not allowed. Is it clear? Oh, this pen is not working or what? Right. So see here. Then securities premium, including rupees 40,000 on issue of shares against the purchase of business. So see here, securities premium we can use only if it is realized in cash, isn't it? Let me just show you once again that conceptual paper, right? See here, securities premium we can utilize only when it is, when it is realized in cash and that too for issuing fully paid up bonus shares only, okay? 
so here in the bracket they are talking about something see here they are saying including rupees 40000 in this 475 there is 40000 which was issued on the shares against the purchase of business so that's not realized in cash we can't use that 40000 okay so reduce 40000 from this and then they are saying and rupees 3 lakh on issue of shares on conversion of debentures into equity shares okay this also we cannot utilize because this is not realized in cash okay so how much do we have to subtract from 4 lakh 75 we have to subtract 40000 and we have to subtract uh 3 lakh right so that's equal to how much how much securities premium realized in cash we have 4 lakh 75 minus 3 lakh that's 175 minus 40 that's 1 lakh 35 isn't it so securities premium which is realized in cash is only how much 1 lakh 35 is that clear simple and then we have general reserve 1 lakh okay this is a free reserve of course we can use this profit and loss yes we can use this capital reserve including 25,000 being profit on sale of machinery now understand whenever the question is silent regarding capital reserve you always need to assume that it is not realized in cash okay but in the bracket they have told you in the 75,000 25,000 is the profit on sale of machinery so when machinery was sold we got the cash so 25,000 is 25,000 of capital reserve is realized in cash okay so out of this 75 how much we can use we can use only 25,000 okay only 25,000 can be used here only 1,35 can be used is it clear and this completely we can use if you want okay fine and then we can use CRR also full right okay and then see they are saying 12% partly convertible debentures at rupees 100 each fine 7,50 yes 20% of 12% debentures rupees 750 are convertible into equity shares of rupees 10 each at rupees 15 on 1st July 2023. Now understand, here they are trying to tell you that we have partly convertible debentures, PCDs, fine. The face value is 100, okay. The total value is 750, the face value. But you have to understand properly what are the terms of conversion, what are the terms of conversion they are saying only 20 percent is convertible okay let's just calculate this right now only okay see 7 lakh 50 just take that this is the total face value only 20 percent is convertible they are saying okay so that's equal to how much 7 lakh 50 into 20 percent that's equal to 1 lakh 50 okay that's equal to 1 lakh 50 and then they are saying see are convertible into equity shares of rupees 10 each okay the face value will be 10 okay fine we have face value 10 only over here at rupees 15 see they are giving you a predetermined price the converting price that is rupees 15 so you have to divide this by 15 okay so then you will get the the shares that are going to be converted okay so that's equal to how much 10,000 easy now 10,000 shares isn't it 1 lakh 50 divided by 15 rupees the predetermined price of conversion that's equal to 10,000 shares so these PCDs for their convertible portion they are going to get how much they are going to get 10,000 shares normally I'm not talking about bonus and all simple conversion I'm talking about okay so the, the simple conversion is just 10,000 shares they are going to get this pen is not working fine let's just use this okay for now okay so 10,000 shares is it clear they are going to get how much 10,000 shares now to calculate the bonus what we have to do the bonus on these 10,000 shares what we have to do we have to just use the bonus ratio on that 10,000 shares we will get the uh, the reserve that we have to make is it clear okay fine so let's read the additional information on 1st April 2023 the company has made final call on equity shares and receive the same on 30th April 2023 okay so we have made a final call on this of 2.5 rupees okay and receive the same uh, on 30th April okay after one month fine first April the call was made so you have to be careful with the dates the call will be made on 1st April and the money will be received on 30th April 
and then they are saying on 1st May 2023, the company decided to issue bonus shares to equity shareholders at the rate of 2 shares for every 5 shares held. Okay, 2 for every 5. Okay, so the ratio is what? 2 is to 5. 2 for every 5. Is it clear? Simple. And for this purpose, it decided that should be minimum reduction in free reserve. Yes, that's what always happened. There is always minimum reduction in free reserves. Pass necessary journal entries up to 1st May 2023. Okay. So understand you don't have to pass any entry regarding conversion of debentures. Okay. Because they are saying just till 1st May. Okay. And the conversion is happening on 1st July. Okay. After a month. Right. After two months actually. May, June, July. Okay. 1st July it is. Fine. So let's just begin. It's really simple. Right. Let's begin. Now see here we have the solution. Let's pass the general entries. It's really simple. The first thing that we have to do is regarding the final call. Yeah, we have to make these shares, 40,000 equity shares fully paid up. Right. They said that over here on 1st April 2023, the company has made final call. So just make the final call. It's really simple. 1st April 2023, equity share final call account debit to equity share capital. Okay. So 1 lakh, 1 lakh. How 1 lakh, 1 lakh? It's really simple. 40,000 equity shares into 2.5 okay the pending amount that's equal to 1 lakh clear easy and then we have to receive the money at the end of the month see and receive the same on 30th april 2023 so 30th april 2023 bank account debit we have received the money you have debited the bank account and you have to cancel that equity share final call account by making an equal credit here it was debited you made an equal credit and cancel it out okay 1 lakh 1 lakh clear simple and then we have to come to the main picture that is bonus okay so the the question said we have to do 2 is to 5 bonus right so let's just calculate the bonus it's really simple to calculate the bonus understand how many shares are there in total in total the shares are 40,000 plus 60,000 oh, yeah existing shares I'm talking about 40 plus 60 that's equal to 1 lakh 1 lakh shares yeah so 1 lakh shares into 2 divided by 5 that's equal to 40,000 shares right 40,000 shares into 10 yeah 10 is the face value so the bonus value would, would be how much 4 lakh yes bonus value would be 4 lakh for the existing shareholders fine so this has to come from somewhere yeah we are not just giving bonus for free no we are utilizing reserves so we have to utilize the reserves right now Okay, so to utilize this reserves, you all know we can't do just like that by our own wish. No, we have a proper sequence. We are issuing fully paid up bonus shares. We have to follow this sequence. First, use the CRR completely. Then securities premium realized in cash completely. Then capital reserve realized in cash completely. And then free reserve in any combination. Okay, that's what we do. Isn't it? So let's just do that. See here, we need 4 lakh. Do we just need 4 lakh? No. We are also giving bonus to whom? To partly convertible debentures, to PCDs. So that also we have to calculate now, isn't it? So partial calculation we have done. Yeah, 7 lakh 50 thousand debentures. Yeah, face value into 20% the convertible part we have taken. That's 1 lakh 50 divided by the predetermined price 15. We got 10,000 shares. So normally without the bonus issue and all, 10,000 shares will be given to whom 10,000 shares will be given to the partly convertible debenture holders isn't it so now include the bonus element in that so how that will happen it's really simple just take that 10,000 shares okay let me just rise write that over here bonus to PCD okay 10,000 shares okay 10,000 shares into 2 by 5 okay so let's just calculate that 10,000 shares into 2 divided by 5 that's equal to 4,000 shares okay so 4,000 shares will be given to them bonus shares not right now at the time of conversion on 1st July okay we are not passing entry of that here we are just going to make a reserve for them okay bonus to PCD account we are just going to create that and that will appear that will appear under the head of reserves and surplus okay so at the time of conversion on 1st July understand what these guys are going to get these partly convertible dementia holders they are going to get 10,000 shares and this 
uh, bonus shares 4000 also in total 14000 shares they are going to get at the time of conversion is that clear okay so let's just pass the bonus entry now okay see here this is the bonus entry if you see yeah see bonus to existing shareholders 1 lakh shares into 2 by 5 40000 shares into 10 that's 4 lakh bonus to shareholders and then bonus to partly convertible debenture the reserve that we have to make yeah the provision yeah that calculation is over here it's really simple the same thing which i showed you uh, on the question also yeah first you have to take the 20 percent yeah whatever the convertible part is there this is, these are partly convertible now so that partly convertible portion you have to take 20 percent of that that's 1 lakh 50 divide by the predetermined price you got the shares that are going to be given at the date of conversion okay how much is that that's equal to uh, 10,000 shares okay so from this calculation we got 10,000 shares 10,000 shares into 2 by 5 we got 4,000 shares 4,000 shares are the bonus to PCD yeah the value is 4,000 into 10 40,000 is it clear is it clear 4,000 into 10 40,000 is it clear so in total how much utilization of reserve is needed 4 lakh 40,000 isn't it 4 lakh 40,000 so 4 lakh 40 has to come out of reserves now so how will you do that how have i taken all these values it's really simple just follow the sequence yeah you know the sequence now just follow the sequence see the question over here the first priority is crr capital redemption reserve yeah we need 4 lakh 40 so take from crr completely okay 4 lakh 40 minus 1 lakh 30 we have taken from crr still we need 3 lakh 10000 okay the second priority is securities premium realized in cash how much is realized in cash securities premium only 1 lakh 35 so minus 1 lakh 35 okay this is how you have to go still we need 175 okay so let's see after this we have capital reserve okay realized only in cash only not the whole 75,000 no we can use only 25,000 because only 25,000 is the profit on sale of machinery only 25 is realized in cash so 175 minus 25,000 okay so that's equal to 1,50,000 still we need so this 1,50 has to come out of free reserve okay in any combination from general reserve or profit and loss is it clear but here they have taken 1 lakh from general reserve yeah they have utilized general reserve completely okay minus 1 lakh and then the remaining 50,000 from profit and loss profit and loss we have 90 so but the remaining 50 or 40 here I have done my mistake or what let me just do the calculation once again okay uh, 130 plus 135 plus 25 plus 1 plus 40 that's okay this needs to be 50 okay this is 50 so my calculation is right okay the the, the one which i did just now in the calculator okay 4 lakh 40 minus 130 minus 135 minus 25 minus 1 lakh the balancing figure was 50000 that came out of profit and loss is that clear that's how you have to do it simple and straightforward is it clear simple so all these reserves are decreasing and the money is flowing to these two accounts bonus to shareholders 4 lakh and bonus bonus to pcd 40000 is that clear now what will happen now right now on 1st may on 1st may you are just going to give shares to your existing shareholders bonus shares to your existing shareholders not to partly convertible debentures partly convertible debentures people these holders they are going to get shares at the date of conversion only not right now okay so see the next entry will be of giving the share see only to existing shareholders yeah this account you have to close bonus to shareholders was credited over here this is an equity account yeah it was credited it was increasing over there right now you have to debit and cancel it off see bonus to shareholders account debit 4 lakh and then you have to give the shares right you are giving the shares so you are going to credit the equity share capital account is it clear to equity share capital account 4 lakh is it clear simple now let's just say we are preparing the balance sheet also so what will happen if you are preparing the balance sheet understand all the things you know just regarding the pcd i want to explain to you this bonus to pcd this will appear under reserves and surplus is it clear and then uh, you have to deduct uh, you know amount from this uh, what do you say from partly convertible debentures also is it clear 
from the 7 lakh 50 you have to remove the convertible portion fine okay how much is the convertible portion 20 percent so 20 percent you have to remove from there is that clear so this is what you have to do and understand uh, on 1st july how many number of shares are these people going to get they are not just going to get just uh, 4000 shares no 4000 shares are just bonus they are also going to get their normal conversion shares also now nah? that's 10000 shares 20 percent of 7 lakh 50 divided by 15 rupees the predetermined price that's 10000 shares so 10000 shares also they are going to get plus this 4000 shares is that clear this is the whole concept and everything regarding this uh, adjustment of partly convertible debentures in this chapter bonus issue okay if you have any doubts then please comment down below or message me in instagram with a photo yeah i will you know try my best to reply you okay as soon as possible right so that's all for this video it's really simple and straightforward okay so that's it see you in the next video bye